Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Stormy Cloud 21. Today we're going to take a look at this Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Roar Attack Kentrosaurus. Very amazing dinosaur, very similar looking to a stegosaurus, but totally different. As we take a look at the front of the packaging, you can see down here, it shows the different ways of attack mode. Here is the UPC, here is Mattel, there is the name Kentrosaurus, there's Dino Escape up close, there is your Carnotaur. Camp Cretaceous, this is an amazing figure. You can see here, they put a spike right there that will plug in right here. And there is another spike just like this hidden back here. And you will also attach that tail that is in the back, flipping this around and looking at the back of the packaging. And you can see here an advertisement of the movement of this creature. You can see the creature is facing us head on. There are the shoulder spikes. And then you can see how this is the movement of the creature, side view, and then it's facing right at you. Here is your Jurassic World Facts app. More really cool pictures on the back. It makes noise. Three levels of sound controlled by a button on the top. I would be remiss if I didn't show you. Here are some of the other dinosaurs upcoming in the collection to be looking for. And now we are going to open this, take it out of the packaging. I wanted to get this figure on your level, so I have a gas and dash box hidden from Micro Machines underneath there to get this figure at eye level for you as I use my gimbal today. So first of all, you're going to be very careful I'm going behind the spike. It looks like I'm cutting it, but I am not. Snip. And then I'm going to go back here. Snip. Now I ordered this through target.com, but by now you should be able to find these in a store, if not already, very soon. And then you can see I'm pulling the creature out of there and I'm going to plug in that tail very soon, which is inside of this box back here now we pull this closer and you can see there is one of the shoulder spikes and back here you can see is the other shoulder spike and there is the tail i was worried at first that i thought the other spike was not there but certainly glad it is there is the busting through of the paddock where the dinosaurs escape. Very cool stuff. Let's take it out of the packaging and put these pieces on together. So here is our very beautiful dinosaur, the Kentrosaurus. And first of all, I'm going to start to add these shoulder spikes. You can see how there's a little groove right there. And you can see right there, there's a bigger groove of the three grooves that you see. And you're going to plug that into the hole right there with a bigger groove facing right in there. And it is going to snap in place. When you do so, I'm going to try to put it better on camera for you. Snap, you heard that. And now you're going to flip the figure around. I've given you the extra shoulder spike Again, you can see, you can match it in right there. Or you're going to take this piece and it'll match it in right there. And it's going to pop, snap that into place. And now we're going to look at the tail of this creature and we are going to match up this piece. Here's the whole entire tail. And here is the ball joint back there and the socket, this thing. You match up these pieces to go in to plug in the tail. Not sure what this piece is down here, but we'll figure that out. So in looking at this and seeing all these sections that will pop in with the tail and seeing this piece on top, 
it makes sense to me that all those will match up, of course, in there, and the other top piece maybe on top to give it a little more wiggle room. We will try it out. Well, I'm going to pop this in, put that in there. Are you ready? I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna match it up with the different holes. And then I'm going to grab onto the torso, popped it into place. There you go. It's all the way in there. Look at that articulation of the tail. It goes all the ways around if you would desire to do so. Or just up, goes down, side to side. Then the articulation, you have this back leg going back like that, going forward like that. Flipping a figure over can go out like that. Underneath here's the Jurassic World logo. You've got the Jurassic World fax app and you've got the sound box and the place where you use a screwdriver to change out the batteries. Here's the other back leg can go out like that. Can go back like this all the way to there. All the way. Actually, you could go all the way around in and out. Now you can manually do this. Also, this front leg, go up like that, or all the way back like this, and forward like that. Over here, this leg, out like that, or bring it back, go forward, go back. You could bring it back about that far when it's out, but that's about that. The neck, go up. You can go down, you can go side to side. Now, looking at this creature, you can see these beautiful eye. Now, it's not 100% on, but it's pretty close. You see a little bit of yellow leaking off, but hardly at all. You can see all of this nice bright yellow right here, and then all these nice plates going up from the neck and across the back of the torso of this creature. There's that nice, beautiful spike. All this beautiful texturing, wrinkles and folds, and armor plating and scales on uh, this body here. All the muscular and skin folds of the, the legs. Going back, you have this changes from these plates and then it goes into these sharp spikes. And then back on this part of the tail, the color of the spikes actually changes. Now I'm not so much completely bothered by it. I know some people are, but I'm pretty cool with the change in the coloration right there. It's fine with me. Um, the beautiful head of this creature. I love this texture. Look on the top of the head. All those scales, nice little nose, nostrils, the mouth of this creature. Then you flip it over, get a look at the other eye on the other side. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And then what's really cool is that you have this action feature button on top of this creature. So I'm gonna push this forward and go like that. I'm gonna push it forward again, okay? And the third time. Now, gravity's kind of changing uh, things a little bit. So if I do it like this, you can see it's hidden. Okay, it went that way. It went that way. Now I went all the way in the button and it threw it that way. And before it didn't do it because of gravity, so I was holding the figure on its side. It launched the figure's body way over in that corner. Watch. Okay. One. Two. And three. Wow. Way over there. So it's a very beautiful creature. They didn't paint the uh, toenails of this creature, but that's fine. It's that sound box again. So it is a very amazing, beautiful dinosaur. They even bothered to sculpt on the bottoms of the feet right there. It's very nice. 
I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. And it retails for only $15. So it is a very beautiful, very affordable dinosaur. And there should be plenty to go around. You can pick one up fairly soon before things get crazy with Christmas. Then um, they might start disappearing at a pretty fast clip. But I'm sure there is a lot to go around for now. If you find one right off, shouldn't be too worried. You can buy one online if you can't find it in a Target store. Might be available in other stores as things get going. Also, while we are on the subject of the Kentrosaurus, I thought I would bring out the Dino Riders Kentrosaurus. This is the Dino Riders Kentrosaurus from the 80s, the late 80s. Very cool, very similar, very uh, vintage, very retro. <laughs> nice rubbery tail back here and then hard plastic. Uh, but yeah, a very good version of the uh, Dino Riders version of the first version of a articulated Kentrosaurus probably that you could have ever owned. And now it is nice to have the Camp Cretaceous version, which is far superior in articulation. Um, it has its own unique, more cartoony design, but nonetheless, very extremely nice. And I love it. And so while we are on the subject of Stegosaurids, that's how I see it. And then here is the Kentrosaurus for scale next to that one. And then if I lower the camera down that way, and there is the Chalingosaurus in front of the Kentrosaurus. And behind, in the back, of course, if you guessed it, is the Stegosaurus back there in the very back. And this is our beautiful Kentrosaurus right smack dab in the middle. All very similar looking dinosaurs, but they are unique in their own special way. Okay, now we take our Kentrosaurus, put it back here on top of Gas and Dash. Now, let's take the Dino Riders Kentrosaurus and zoom out a little bit. There you go. And you can see the scale basically. The Kentrosaurus back there. Now, these are not stegosaurides in any way, but it is cool to see that they have the same thing going on with the, like a spike like that going out. It's not, it's not in the same spot exactly, but it's still the same kind of defensive idea going on. So I thought I'd add them. They're not in the stegosaur family though. And then I wanted to bring in Sean Hammond holding snakes. Okay, there's John Hammond holding snakes for size comparison with the Kentrosaurus here. That is the Kentrosaurus from the Jurassic World line. Thank you so much for watching my video. This is Stormy Cloud 21. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more cool stuff coming up soon on a regular basis. Until we meet again, I look forward to sharing more really amazing stuff, more figures with you. Until then, thank you for watching and talk soon.